Prior to digging into the declaration, it's imperative to initially explain the idea of subatomic particle accelerators. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile circle of superconducting magnets and holds the title of the most prominent and powerful particle accelerator in the world. This machine represents the pinnacle of human achievement and is so powerful that it can recreate the conditions of the universe's first moments after its creation. But could the very machine built to unravel the universe's secrets unlock something even more significant? Established in 1954, CERN is one of the most prestigious research institutions globally, with 23 member countries and countless scientists. It serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. While the LHC is CERN's flagship project, it is just one aspect of a vast network of particle accelerators and experiments. Imagine a pathway not for engines or people, but for subatomic particles locked in a trial of endurance and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, placing them on a collision course that mimics the energy present just after the Big Bang. These collisions produce temperatures far exceeding the sun's core. A vast array of magnets directs the protons along their paths, while advanced cooling systems maintain the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC are designed to collide at four specific points along the collider's ring, meeting particle detectors at designated areas. Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each has a distinct purpose in exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, these massive detectors act as extraordinary cameras, capturing images of these high-energy collisions. Scientists then analyze the resulting particles, searching for evidence of elusive phenomena like the Higgs boson, often called the God particle, and other anomalies that could shed light on the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By studying the microcosm, we gain new understanding of the macrocosm, yet with each answer, new questions arise. With every discovery, new challenges present themselves. The LHC is not merely a scientific instrument. It represents humanity's enduring curiosity and progress. It reflects our relentless quest to understand the forces that shape our universe. However, as we continue pushing the boundaries of knowledge, we must remain mindful of the deeper existential questions that inevitably surface. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our pursuit of knowledge accidentally unleash forces beyond our control? Within the revered halls of CERN, where human understanding is ever-expanding, a discovery has emerged that sends chills even through the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former CERN physicist and a leading voice in particle physics, recently made a statement that left the world both captivated and uneasy. Cox declared that the purpose of the LHC is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that correctly, a scaled-down version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. He went on to discuss the profound implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's potential to unlock mysteries such as the Higgs boson and to study dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine wielding the power to recreate the very forces of creation itself, the essence of the universe. It's an alluring prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not a theoretical concept. It is a real phenomenon that occurs within the LHC. The extreme temperatures, pressures, and raw energy involved mimic the conditions that existed at the universe's inception. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence. But such immense power comes with great responsibility, and the question remains, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong back in 1978. Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky faced a disaster that would forever alter his life. While working at the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pradvino, Russia, a malfunction caused his head to inadvertently pass through the path of a proton beam. The beam, carrying unimaginable energy, pierced his skull, entering at the back of his head and exiting through his nose. The experience was harrowing. He witnessed a flash brighter than a thousand suns yet felt no immediate pain. The beam's path left devastation in its wake, burning tissue and bone, yet he remained conscious and even walked himself to the medical center for treatment. The aftermath was both unsettling and surreal, localized tissue damage, hearing loss in one ear, and partial facial paralysis. Remarkably, Bugorsky's cognitive functions remained intact, and he continued his medical career. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the immense energy and potential hazards posed by particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC must be acknowledged with gravity.
the possibility of catastrophic reactions or altering the very fabric of existence is not mere science fiction but genuine concerns raised by respected scientists. One of the most unsettling issues tied to the LHC's experiments is the potential creation of a microscopic black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. They act as cosmic vacuum cleaners, consuming stars and mysterious entities lurking in the universe's shadows. The notion that the LHC could create one, even on a microscopic scale, is both fascinating and terrifying. Could such a black hole spiral out of control and eventually consume Earth from within? Scientists have assured the public that any black holes created would be unstable and would quickly evaporate. Still, this remote possibility has sparked debates, fears, and awe about the power we wield. To understand how the LHC might generate a black hole, we must first consider the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the very fabric of spacetime. Imagine a stretched-out trampoline with a heavy object dropped onto it. The fabric bends, and if the object is massive enough, it can create a well deep enough to pull anything nearby into it. This analogy illustrates what could occur within the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the universe's laws often seem bizarre and mystical, there is a hypothesis that extra dimensions might exist within our universe. If these additional dimensions are real, the LHC's experiments could access them, generating a gravitational well that would form a small black hole. This speculative dance of particles has captured the attention of many, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become dangerous at extremely high energy levels, potentially triggering an event called vacuum decay. Such an event would not destroy Earth but could theoretically obliterate the entire universe. Prominent British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concerns about CERN's experiments. In his book on humanity's future, he explored the potential risks associated with particle accelerators, including those at CERN. Rees's warnings were not cautious musings but carried a tone of existential dread. He outlined a worst-case scenario in which a failed experiment could cause a phase transition that would ripple through spacetime, resulting in a catastrophe capable of engulfing the entire universe. While he assigned a low probability to such disastrous outcomes, he maintained that even a slight risk warrants serious consideration. Scientists at CERN have conducted simulations, analyzed theories, and taken precautions to ensure the LHC's safety. In fact, Brian Cox himself emphasized the importance of these safety measures. Addressing public concerns, he reassured that strict protocols are in place, with thorough reviews and procedures ensuring the utmost care in the LHC's operations. Cox also assured that the energies involved in the LHC's experiments are well within the levels naturally occurring on Earth and that the likelihood of producing a stable black hole is astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists assert it would dissipate quickly, releasing a burst of energy, a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation. Some have taken this idea even further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. While mainstream scientists largely dismiss this notion, it continues to captivate the imagination of many, fueling speculation and fear. Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities beyond our comprehension, creating a gateway to chaos? This idea, often dramatized in the media, amplifies uncertainty. The concept of extra dimensions is not new to physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the conventional three dimensions of space and one of time. These hidden dimensions might be compactified or imperceptible, but in theory, they could be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Consider the LHC as a key unlocking these long-forgotten doors. When protons collide at extraordinary energy levels, they could, in theory, create ripples or waves probing these hidden dimensions. If such dimensions exist, the LHC may indeed uncover them. The fascination surrounding the LHC and its experiments stems not only from the profound scientific discoveries it aims to achieve, but also from the philosophical and existential questions it raises. By venturing into the uncharted territories of particle physics, humanity pushes the boundaries of what is known, daring to explore the mechanisms that govern our universe. Yet, with such progress comes the weight of responsibility, to ensure that our pursuit of knowledge does not endanger the very existence we seek to understand. The potential creation of microscopic black holes or the hypothetical access to extra dimensions might seem like something out of science fiction, 
but they remain within the realm of theoretical physics. It's important to remember that the safeguards in place at CERN are not merely precautionary. They are based on rigorous scientific understanding and extensive testing. The energies produced in the LHC, while immense, are still dwarfed by those naturally occurring in cosmic ray collisions that have been happening in Earth's atmosphere for billions of years without catastrophic consequences. Still, the public's imagination is often captured by the unknown. Questions linger. Could we unknowingly unleash forces we cannot control? Could the experiments have unintended consequences beyond our understanding? These fears are not entirely unfounded, as history has shown that scientific breakthroughs often come with unforeseen side effects. But it is also through such breakthroughs that humanity has made its most significant advancements, from the discovery of electricity to the unlocking of the atom. In exploring the LHC's experiments, we also encounter the philosophical quandary of whether humanity should pursue knowledge at any cost. The idea that our understanding of the universe could lead to its unmaking is both terrifying and humbling. It forces us to confront the fragility of our existence and the limits of our comprehension. Could there be forces or truths so vast and incomprehensible that our attempts to unravel them put everything at risk? These questions are at the heart of both the excitement and apprehension surrounding the LHC. As we continue to probe the mysteries of the universe, one thing remains clear. The LHC is more than just a machine, it is a symbol of human curiosity and ingenuity. It represents our willingness to ask difficult questions and to confront the answers, no matter how unsettling they may be. The discoveries made at CERN have already revolutionized our understanding of the universe, from confirming the existence of the Higgs boson to advancing our knowledge of fundamental particles. Yet, for all the progress made, we are only scratching the surface of what lies beneath. The universe remains a vast, enigmatic tapestry, and the LHC is just one tool in our quest to unravel its secrets. Whether it leads to groundbreaking discoveries, opens doors to new dimensions, or simply deepens our appreciation for the cosmos, the Large Hadron Collider will continue to be a beacon of scientific exploration and a reminder of the power and responsibility that come with knowledge. In the end, the LHC is not just about understanding the universe's past, it is about shaping its future. By pushing the boundaries of what is possible, we expand the horizons of human potential. And as we stand on the precipice of discovery, we must embrace the unknown with both courage and caution, ever mindful of the delicate balance between progress and preservation. The journey into the heart of existence is a perilous one, but it is also the essence of what makes us human, a desire to know, to understand, and to reach for the stars. The implications of the discoveries made at the LHC extend far beyond the scientific community. They touch on fundamental questions about our place in the cosmos, our understanding of reality, and the nature of existence itself. The pursuit of particle physics forces us to grapple with ideas that challenge our perceptions of time, space, and matter, revealing a universe that is far stranger and more complex than we could have ever imagined. Take, for example, the concept of dark matter and dark energy, which together make up approximately 95% of the universe. Despite their prevalence, we still know very little about their nature. The LHC provides an opportunity to probe these mysteries, potentially shedding light on the invisible forces that govern the cosmos. If we can unlock the secrets of dark matter, we may gain profound insights into the structure and evolution of the universe, rewriting the rules of physics as we know them. Then there is the question of the Higgs boson, a particle that has already been discovered but whose full implications are still being explored. The Higgs boson provides mass to particles and is a cornerstone of the standard model of particle physics, yet its discovery raises as many questions as it answers. Could there be other Higgs-like particles? Might the Higgs boson itself hold clues to the existence of parallel universes, higher dimensions, or entirely new laws of physics? Such questions are not purely academic. They have the potential to revolutionize technology, energy, and even our understanding of life itself. For example, Understanding the forces at play in the early universe could lead to breakthroughs in energy production, possibly unlocking new forms of clean, sustainable power. It could also deepen our understanding of how life arises and evolves, potentially guiding the search for life beyond Earth. But with great potential comes great uncertainty. As we delve deeper into the building blocks of reality, we confront the possibility of unintended consequences. Could our experiments at the LHC inadvertently destabilize the universe or open a pathway to unknown dangers? These concerns, while largely speculative, underscore the importance of ethical considerations in scientific research. 
humanity must balance its thirst for knowledge with a commitment to responsibility and caution, ensuring that the pursuit of discovery does not come at an unacceptable cost. Looking ahead, the LHC is far from the end of the journey. Plans are already underway for even more powerful accelerators, such as the proposed Future Circular Collider, FCC, which would dwarf the LHC in size and energy capacity. These next-generation machines aim to probe even deeper into the mysteries of the universe, potentially revealing new particles, forces, and dimensions. With each step forward, we move closer to a unified theory of everything, a framework that could explain all known physical phenomena and unify quantum mechanics with general relativity. However, as we push the boundaries of our understanding, we must also reflect on the broader implications of our work. The LHC and its successors are not just tools for scientific inquiry. They are monuments to human ambition and ingenuity. They remind us that our ability to ask questions, to seek answers, and to imagine the unimaginable is what sets us apart as a species. As we stand on the threshold of discovery, the questions we ask today will shape the world of tomorrow. Will we unlock the secrets of the universe, or will we uncover mysteries that defy comprehension? Will our pursuit of knowledge bring us closer together, or will it expose divisions in how we perceive progress and risk? These are the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead, and they demand not only scientific expertise but also philosophical reflection, ethical deliberation, and global collaboration.